Sense here. 3.57 a.m. Central Time on Wednesday, February 12th, 2014. And we're looking at Earthquake 3D here, which is a USGS feed of the most recent earthquakes. And you can see a 6.8 magnitude earthquake. Some agencies reporting 7.0 just struck in Central West China. And let's go ahead and get the statistics on this. It is a very sizable earthquake for the region. And even though it's probably sparsely populated there, most likely there was some very serious damage. So we're looking at 7.7 .7 miles deep. And for that size of an earthquake, it actually is fairly large and fairly shallow. Now, uh, we're going to have to watch for follow-up earthquake movement in the region. And I would like to direct you guys over to my most recent earthquake update. And we discussed this fully the possibility of a 7.0 earthquake in the near term and uh, you guys can just come over here and I'll put a link below to that you can watch the most recent update as of the 8th now also while I've got you on here let me just go ahead and show you what happened in the United States over the last 24 hours 3.5 magnitude earthquake struck at Yellowstone another swarm broke out at Oklahoma and that follow-up East Coast movement just as I talked about in the video has occurred. So, all in all guys, have an earthquake plan ready and be prepared just in case. Uh, with this kind of movement that's been going on over the last seven days, look at the West Pacific, really showing an extraordinary amount of movement and that's been spilling over across the United States and South. We had a flurry of 6.0's this past week, now culminating with the 7.0 in China. Be safe folks, much love. What's up, everyone? It's Tria Mike. January 17th, 2014, and this article that I'm looking at right here just makes me want to puke. It literally just makes me sick. I want to throw up. Scientists say stop worrying about Fukushima radioactivity in West Coast fish. Are you serious? Are, are they acting like these fish just stay right there along the shorelines of Japan and that the currents don't travel and there's no uh, uh, stream that, that carries the currents around the world? They're not understanding that this stuff is going everywhere. It's hitting California, guys. I'm looking at this article right here, and they're talking about uh, it's almost been three years since the quake and tsunami that struck Japan. Hundreds of millions of gallons of radioactive water were released from the Fukushima nuclear plant. The mutations that people are claiming from Fukushima, these are just mostly vegetables. And uh, we can see that these are not normal. They don't look normal. They don't grow normal. Uh, let me get down here a little bit. I mean, look at this thing, guys. What else we got right here? Mutated Fukushima giant hornet responsible for multiple Nebraska casualties. Look at that, guys. Those are four times the normal size of the Asian wasp. And they're already big. But, uh, uh, normally they're already huge, but these are four times the size. Can you imagine being stung by one of those? And they have a very potent toxin. Their venom is uh, very, very strong. Let's see what it says here. Uh, as if the size wasn't horrific enough, I'm assuming that's what they're talking about. The giant hornet also possesses venom, which is nearly 2,000 times stronger than that of the common wasp. Okay, and I, I believe that they're talking about the normal wasp has a venom nearly 2,000 times stronger. Don't quote me on this one, guys. You're going to have to do some searching on that one. So it's either, either the normal wasp puts out 2,000 times stronger, or it's these mutated wasps that are putting it out like that. But either way, look at this, guys. 
we got the uh, what was that? The uh, Siamese twin row that washed up. Everybody is saying that that was uh, Fukushima related, and it very well could have been. That was a calf that washed up. Let me try and pull that up. So here we're looking at the two-headed whale found in Mexico. If you don't know, Mexico still sits on the west coast here, runs straight down our west coast. This is what washed up on shore. Now they're saying that they were conjoined twins or Siamese twins. Other people are saying this is due to radiation or that the twins didn't split due to radiation. The, the people are just not clear and they're not agreeing with each other on exactly what is going on here. But we can see for sure what's going on here. We do have a two-headed whale. Now it's a calf, it's a very uh, a small whale, so it is a calf, probably just a week old. Uh, was it caused by Fukushima radiation? Is were, were these going to be twin whales? It's very rare, but did they not separate because of the Fukushima radiation? It's very, very possible. Whales migrate all over the world. They travel the oceans of the world. They are never in one place as well. So just because you see something like this, say this washed up on the other side of the world where nothing is being affected yet, it can still be due to the Fukushima radiation because during the pregnancy, that whale, the mother whale, could have been lingering in the waters around Japan and spent most of its pregnancy there feeding. We don't know. So we got to keep an eye on this. As soon as I get a chance when my Geiger counter comes in, first thing I'm doing, I'm headed to the California coast. I'm saying bye-bye to Arizona. More than likely, I'm going to end up uh, packing up my stuff and, and locking the house up here, and I'm just going to rent an apartment out there for six months to a year and I'm going to spend my time on Fukushima doing radiation readings down on the Pacific coast over there. Because this is just absolutely out of control. And the world just doesn't seem to care. And again, when I see headlines that tell me, don't worry about it, I got to call bullshit. Big time bullshit. So I'm going to come back to you guys in a week. Maybe a little less. And I'll have an update with some new Fukushima uh, readings and whatnot. I'll see what's out there. And we're going to keep track on this one this year, guys. I think this is probably going to be my main focus outside of the UFO realm. This is going to be my main focus, and uh, I'm going to go hard on this one. If you like the video, do me a favor. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments down on the box. Let me know what you think about the Fukushima disaster. I also want to know what you think about Japan spending billions of dollars to clean up space when they can't spend that money to clean up their own backyard. I really think that money should be going to clean up their own backyard. So, uh, again, hit that like button. 